How's everybody doing on this beautiful morning? We ended up pulling into a parking spot. We didn't sit out in the sticks like we were. That was in yesterday's video if you haven't watched it yet. Oh yeah, this is a reminder. This is a daily vlog, guys, if you're new to the channel. I want, I try to get it out at least every day, at least five, six videos a week, so just to let you know. Right now, we're just north of uh, Louisville, Kentucky. We're pulling out of the truck stop now. We're gonna head down to Louisville, Kentucky, get loaded and beeline it back to Sioux City, Iowa. Because guess what? I have more dispatch. Thumbs up, guys. We're gonna make some money this week. Money, 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 money. I was really getting worried about work slowing down, but luckily it took a turn for the best right now, and we're gonna go make some money. We're leaving the truck stop, and you should see some of the places these guys find the park. Look at that guy. There's, there's a guy over here. On the sidewalk. He's on the sidewalk. <laughs> I, I, I'm just not even going to show you. He's on the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I don't really have a whole lot to chitter chat about this morning. I already checked the fluids, checked the tires. I did all that without you. I'm sorry, but... There's only so much tire thumping you guys can see before you go insane. You guys really need to go back and watch yesterday's video if you missed it though. Miss Warden over here, she drove my truck. And I gotta tell you, it was pretty hot to see. Alright, well, I'm gonna flip you around, give you a little video, or give you a little highway footage while we're heading into Louisville. Uh, big bumps. Poof, just like that, we're loaded. What are we hauling, you ask? In there is about 43,000 pounds worth of pizza rounds that go inside, you guessed it, the lunch makers back in Sioux City, Iowa. We're gonna shut the doors up, hopefully we get our paperwork within the next half an hour, then we're gonna hit the road and start heading back towards Sioux City, because like I said earlier, we have more dispatch, we have more work, which means more money. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Well, it took a little longer than 30 minutes to get to paperwork, but it, it's not horrible. There's way worse out here, so we're not going to complain about that. But we are loaded, paperwork in hand, and leaving. My goal is to make it to Iowa somewhere tonight before we park it for the night. And then uh, and we got a lot of work. What was it, yesterday or day before I was complaining about work? Now I have so much work, I don't know what to do with it all. We're going to go back to Sioux City, Iowa. Then we're going to go to Greenfield, Indiana then. Then down the plain, down to Evansville, Indiana. Back to Lamar's, Iowa. Then once we get to Lamar's, Iowa, we're going to go back to Sioux City, Iowa. Leave Sioux City, Iowa and go out to Georgia. Which I'm going to stop right there because, well, you guys are probably bored at this point listening to where we're going. But the big key is we're going to go make money. And that's the key today, I think, is trucking went from zero to busy 
in about six hours. I can accept that. Let's go ahead and get out of here and get some trucking done today. At least try to. If you're wondering where my hitchhiker went from the other day, I decided I was done. The hitchhiker had to go. She's not in the back doing homework. I'm not doing homework. Where's your camera? Right there. I'm typing up a report on my computer. Doesn't this seem like a fitting place to do that? Whatever. It's food time. Miss Warden over here. She's too good to eat out of the truck. I am not. So every time I stop, it has to be somewhere good. Ask him who's been making him sandwiches. Me. Well, there's no one to ask. Yeah. You gotta remember, this is one-sided. I get to talk to you guys. And no one gets to talk back. Well, you can in the comments, but it's, you know, not right away. So, it's the way it is, Warden. It's the way it is. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to run in here, grab some food, come back out, chitter chat with you a little bit about a couple things. Ah, first off, what you guys are probably wondering, you guys who know the roads out here, is... When we were leaving Louisville, Kentucky, yes, I went from Kentucky to Indiana, Indiana to Kentucky, and then from Kentucky to Indiana again. Well, I'm just a nice guy. I wanted to take Warden for a little quick sightseeing tour of Louisville, Kentucky, and she's not in the truck a whole lot with me. So what we did is we just went through town, come back out, took her over a couple bridges there, uh, then uh, almost about the same thing for St. Louis. If you're wondering why I took 64 through town instead of 70, I wanted to get her as close as I could to the arch. Because when we were down there on the bike trip that I told you guys about, 
when we were down there on the motorcycle trip, it was pouring rain, so I couldn't get her to the arch. We got to see it when we were leaving town on the bikes, but not that close. I was able to take Interstate 64 and get her right beside the archway. Works out really good that way. The woman is going to kill me. I swear to it. She's just going to kill me. What kind of person eats three, three times a day? Three meals. That's right. Holy crap. Maybe one meal a day. I guess three meals is supposed to be good for you though, right? Maybe that's why I gotta suck it in so much anymore. All right, well, let's get down to the logistics. We're about 400 miles into our day. We're in Missouri, Eola, Missouri right now. It's a new little truck stop. I don't even know the name of it, but it's a nice place. We have probably about another two, 250 miles left in our day. We gotta make it to a certain point tonight because tomorrow, as you heard me say, we have more work to do and I need to, in order to make it work, she just won't leave me alone, no matter where I go. But in order to make it work, I need to make it a certain point today. I'm going to show you guys this little video here. Little bud went out into the timber with Grandpa today and uh, found a skull. You guys are just going to have to check it out and see what kind of skull it is. Grandpa took little bud and tater tot out to the farm today to get them out of the house, look for some mushrooms, look for some sheds. And the kids from the videos I got looked like they had a great time. So. I'm going to show you just a little clip of it. I'll probably show you the rest of the videos tomorrow. Other than that, let's get back on the road and I'll talk to you a little bit later on. I found, uh, we were out here looking for mushrooms and I found, this is like Dutch Valley, it's a bunch of skulls, but I'm going to keep this one because it has horns, I mean antlers. See? It's a deer skull, a white-tailed deer. How old do you think? Um, very young. I don't know. Yeah, very young. What do you think killed it? Coyotes. It's hard to say. Coyotes, badger, raccoon. No, no badger. No, no badger. Be a coyote. Coyote, told you. Or somebody could have shot it. And Did collect didn't, the body. Collect the body. They're Are allowed they to kill babies. <laughs> Not supposed to, but uh, some people will shoot anything. Hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Literally everything I touch breaks. See? Don't touch nothing. 